So I've wanted a surround sound living room setup since forever, but I don't want ugly exposed cables running everywhere and I really don't want to cut any holes in my walls or ceiling because knowing my handy skills, somehow I'd probably end up having to re-drywall my entire goddamn house. But that all changes with the JBL Bar 5.1. This is a soundbar system with two wireless detachable speakers and a wireless subwoofer. The two removable speakers are magnetic so they detach easily and they have a battery life of up to 10 hours and only take about three hours to charge. When they're attached to the main central sound bar, they're always charging but are also active, so you still get that full sound experience. But as soon as you detach them, they automatically switch into surround sound mode, which is pretty badass. And from there, you just position them behind your couch and adjust them independently as a pair with the remote control while still being able to individually adjust the subwoofer's bass level and sound bar's volume to create that awesome 5.1 surround sound experience. Pretty sweet. Sis. It supports Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone to stream music or whatever. And there's this feature called Sound Shift that lets you switch between Bluetooth and the wired connection on the fly, which is neat. I guess. There's plenty of connection options with three HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, optical audio, a USB port, and 3.5 mil audio jack. Uh, the soundbar can be mounted to your TV's wall mount, which is how I've got mine set up, except I notice that the detachable speakers on the end sag like an old man's ball sack, but I've learned to live with it and accepted the fact that I can't fight gravity. And no, I'm not talking about the sound bar anymore. Moving on, the surround sound performance is awesome. Whenever my wife and I are about to watch a flick, I set up the detachable speakers behind the couch, press play, and begin to constantly look behind me thinking someone's broken into the house or something. I think it's gonna take a while for us to get used to the surround sound effect, but yeah, it's the most immersive home theater setup I've ever had. It's awesome. For movies and shows, the bar 5.1 is a champ, uh, like the subwoofer gives off house shaking bass. It's extremely punchy and deep. I'm 100% impressed. The soundbar, on the other hand, provides sharp, crisp trebles, so dialogue's always super clean, even when there's bass-heavy scenes with explosions or gunfire, for example. But it doesn't provide any mids, <laughs> like at all. So when listening to music, while it does still sound more than good enough for me with deep, rich, heavy bass along with super crisp and clear highs, it's a bit cold sounding. So if you're after the best in audio quality with regards to music, you might be a bit disappointed, because as you all know, mids are a huge part of music. But if you're like me and want the perfect all-around 5.1 surround sound setup that's also wireless to boot and still plenty good for music and amazing at movies and shows, dude, <laughs> get the bar 5.1. It gets my full recommendation. But what do you guys all think? Like, would you rather drill some holes and route cables or take the easy path and go wireless? Drop me a comment and let me know. That's it for this one. Uh, show me some love with that like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.